session of auto tunes this is broken glass everywhere and we back with auto tunes i know you ain't seen us a while but we back and we got a special guest shout out to my boy jatl out there man we see you brother yeah i am king management is in the building and we got the one the only he what's up brother so we put me on I see you on, um, you know, we got a show on Four Man Con TV. Shout out to Rich Flo. Shout out to everybody, DJ Riley Max, everybody in the universe, Miami, um, Steve C, Bobby, Bobby, Bobby Phoenix. But um, you got to show on Tuesday, and I take a liking to the young man because he's a fucking young man, and his mind is right, and his flow is ridiculous. <laughs> so what we want to do is, um, you want to first introduce yourself, Heem, where you from? Say what's up, my name's Heem, from Lauder Hill, Florida. Lauder <laughs> Hill, Florida. That's where you born at? No, nah, I was born in Jamaica. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, see, bottom of class. See, I knew something. I knew, I knew it was something, man. I knew something. But let's get into you real quick because I know you got a crazy story. Um, you're actually, um, at four years old, your um, your mom and your, and your dad passed, right? Yeah. Let's get into that a little bit. Like, uh, four years old, like, do you remember them passing or? I don't remember seeing them pass, but... I remember everything that happened after. Right. Yeah. And then, but well, as you grew up, like, what, what, when, did, what, what age did you like, yo, man, I have no parents. Around early teens, mm -hmm. 13, 14. And like when you see your other friends, you saw this. Yeah, I'd go to school and everybody be talking about mom, this, dad, this, and I, I feel like <laughs> I just feel like. <laughs> right. You're like, damn, where my parents at? Yeah. So who do you grow up with? My auntie. Your auntie. Yeah. Okay, your auntie from Jamaica too. So yeah. what, what music did you grow up on? Hip hop. Hip hop. Like, yeah, a lot of hip hop. Is the auntie from from did, did your auntie go from Jamaica to New York? Yes, and then here, yeah, yeah, it had to be. <laughs> you know, that's just the way it is, man. It's like from Jamaica, it's like you went from Jamaica to yeah. Miami or Jamaica to New York she and then school, Miami. She old school. Whole school. So the music influence came in from like my cousins and the people around me. Who okay, all right. Grew up here. And what were they playing in the, in, in the household? Not even in the household. Outside the household. Oh, but well, you 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 was actually in Lauderdale at the time. Nah, I came up here when I was four. Okay, you came here four and then. So what kind of music were you listening to? Like, what were they playing around you? Like, what hip-hop you was listening to? Uh, around then, but Neo had just came out. <laughs> Neo? Yeah. Was, Damn. Uh, just was, a lot of different stuff. But who was rapping back then when Neo came out? Jay-Z, I guess? Uh, Eminem. Eminem. Oh, Eminem. Came and, up on a lot of Eminem. And then, and then what, who you took to? What, what MC did you take to? Eminem. Oh, you, oh, when I was coming up, when I first started rapping, Eminem was... Was your first album? Hmm? Your first album? No, not even um right around till I collapse or... Yeah, oh. Uh, but hey, man, you gotta check out that, that Martha Mathis, though. That album right there. <laughs> Whoa! I heard Beautiful off of that one. Yeah, oh, uh, man. It, he, uh, that's when I was like, this this boy right here is serious. <laughs> He's putting bars and patterns together. So, you listen to Eminem, and then who came after that? You was like, yo... I like this. I like this right here. Started vibing some Wayne. Mm, a lot Wayne. of the mm -hmm. people, the one hit wonders around 03, 04, 05. Like who that? Who, 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 <laughs> name one. Name one hit wonder. One hit wonder. What's his name? Mike Jones. Mike Jones. Hey. <laughs> Mike Jones. What happened to that guy, man? I don't know. Damn. See, but that's what. That's what I want. Uh, that's good that you mentioned that. Cause a lot of people that come out and they hot. And they're gone right now. A lot of people don't understand that like, the music industry is really no music industry. But there's no, you don't get no, no, no checks every no week. You, you don't get no retirement plan. When your name is not being called on the radio, you don't get no check. No, a lot of people don't realize that. And you, you get a little quick, you get a quick little run. Nobody saves any money. Nobody uh, make good plans except for a few people. But people got to realize that there's no, there's no, it's actually no, no music industry. There's an industry, but there's no music industry because you don't get no paychecks. You don't get no uh, weekly paychecks. You don't get no the, uh, insurance plan, none of that. And when the money come and gone, goodbye. And what happens when the money come and gone is that you lose your creativity. And the crazy part, I was watching like, um, I was watching uh, uh, Keith Murray mm -hmm. battling Fred and Star. And I, I, I was hurt, man, to see Keith Murray. Like I'm like, damn. But anyway, so you went to that, to Mike Jones. So when did you start realizing, like, you know what, man? I'm going to start spitting. years spending. later. That, that was around 03, 04, 05. I, I ain't start rapping until about 2010. Because mm -hmm. you got you got a crazy uh, flow and, and pattern. Talk to me about your flow and your pattern. Like, how did that came about? 
Eminem, Tupac. You, you, you matched them together? Sort of, kind of, and then I mix, mixed it with the, the new day and age, with the new school, and just try to make it my own. Right. So. And um, uh, as far as you do you, uh, writing songs, like how do you go about writing your songs? Uh, like, I hit... just started formulating and learn how to put a structured song together. Right. So it's just I just go off the vibe. Mm. You like do you get a beat first or do you? Yeah, I get a beat first. The beat first. The beat plays a big part because however you vibe on the beat or right. what comes to mind. Okay. So uh, so Heen, uh, tell me about like what, what what is it you really want to do with music? Honestly, it's a lot I want to show off my pain, mm -hmm. show off where I'm coming from, as in a person, as in a black person. Right. Not even just about race, but just. Show you're where I really like, came from. Right. Yeah, and then from there, I just want to make good music. Just like let y'all hear what my creative side shows. Right. So, uh, uh, she, she, she write at that early stage with the music. Do you, do you, you, you write rhymes all day in your head? Yes. I <laughs> you see something you like? Oh, I gotta write a rhyme about that. And I just play around with it a lot. You, you put out a mixtape yet? Nah, not, not yet. yet. Next year. Damn. Early 2016. You're making a lot of moves for, for a man. You got no mixtape yet. Like, how do you get started to be moving around as you as you were? Because right now, if y'all know, we die here in Miami. Um, He's from Fort Lauderdale, but the, the brother been moving, doing a lot of shows, doing interviews. You're going to see a lot of him. So tell me about how you got involved with I Am King Management and how you got um, discovered to be moving around with Jay and them. Through my cousin, she hooked up me up with Bianca and them, and mm -hmm. then from there, we just... Started working. What else like? You like, damn, I'm just writing rhymes, and then you got these people coming at you talking about room managing and all that. <laughs> like, what that? What was that feeling? That's a good feeling, though. Like, yeah, it is. It's like that's a step moving in the right direction. With you. Yeah. yeah, especially that you're young. What have you learned so far, um, moving with the management? I can honestly say it's been a, a lot of learning, a good learning process, just to see how the music industry is, how to make good music, and see what people want, and just know where to go and what direction to move mm -hmm. in. It's been a lot of learning and. I think I'm putting it all together. So my right. first project is gonna be something serious. Yeah, it's good. I, I, I could manage that, man. Um, so um, uh, shout out to that boy. Um, I'm Grizzly. We see you, boy. A boy, uh, I post you up. He's okay, like, hey, Grizzly. Bro, people, Grizzly, <laughs> what's up, Grizzly? We see you. What's but, good. But um, yeah, man. So, what would your first project sound like? Like, what what, what kind of topics you want to touch on? on? Cause first I know you got off, bars. We know you yeah. got the bars, but you know, <laughs> when you make it, when you put the project together, you got the concept. Yeah. You got to put a little, little, little meat on it. First off, I think I want to just get all the pain off mm, my chest yeah, in a few tracks. You just got some pain. That, yeah, let right. that ride. Let people see what's him, who is him, mm -hmm. introduce myself. And from there, you know, I got to talk to the ladies, yeah, you know what I'm yeah, talk okay. to the streets, talk to... Get your mind right yeah. now. Get your man <laughs> right, boy. I see you back there. Got some club singles coming on. Mm. Yeah, so, so, um, so how do you go about picking your beats? Picking my beats. I feel, I feel it. It's like, it just... If I don't feel instant. it, I don't get on it. Like, right. I could go through 30 beats and feel one. <laughs> yeah, so it's I just mean, all basically how you feel. Because it's not even a specific type. It ain't no genre. It's just how you it's feel. Just the vibe. You could do trap. You could do pop. You could do hip hop. You could do anything. But based on how you feel, it on the beat. You, mean, you get the vibe and you just make it hemes. Yeah. Well, this is Instead, I just pray that God cover you for your loss through this blind. You don't see what you do. I'm here thanks to you. It's crazy, but that shit made me see the real you. And when you on your last, man, that show who there for you. A few people can't. I put my life up for proof. Lord, I'm calling out to you. I fucked you so many times. Hey, oh, co-sign a lot of right. people, man. You know? You know, like I tell them, get your bars up, man. <laughs> hey, the young king right, right here, man. <laughs> the boy is the real deal, man. Yeah, baby. The man is the real. Damn, him, flock ya, hey him, you a bad boy, and that's it, uh, that, you got it, man, you know you got it, right? <laughs> I'm gonna tell you one thing, man, um, number one thing, be persistent and be consistent, and keep pushing and keep pushing forward, man, Appreciate you got it, that man. fire, man, I like, I like that one right 2016, there, man. 2016, we coming hard. <laughs> uh, you, you already coming hard, you already coming see hard. right now, we live with auto tunes with him. For, for MK TV. Well, check this out, man. We appreciate you coming through him. Where can they find you out there looking for you, they man? They can find me on Instagram at He Music. And they can find me on Twitter at the same thing. They can find me under my real name on Facebook, Raheem Lindo. And on YouTube, whoa, 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 Your name is what? Raheem Lindo. Lindo? Lindo. <laughs> you know, that's my, that's my family name. For real? Lindo. 
From Jamaica? What part of Jamaica are you from? They from everywhere, honestly. Get they the fuck out of here. I'm gonna, Brian, Raheem, man, they from everywhere. I got I gotta check this out, man, because that's my family name, because she Lindo, Willie Lindo. Because she Lindo's a big um, reggae star. You know Jack Ruby? Yeah. What's his name? Jack Ruby. Jack Ruby? I'll find out. <laughs> that's good. Cool. Ain't too many Lindos in Jamaica. You know that, right? It's the, what you mean? There's a lot I mean, of in Jamaica. That's it. Oh, nah, that's like, Jamaica. Ah. I'm sure they are, but they do. I'm gonna find out yeah. though. Right. But yo, we want to give thanks to him for coming through. I am King Magic B. I can say what's up. Hi. We live. Give sign no broken glass everywhere. Auto tunes, baby. Yeah, right here. Yeah. He deserves it. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm gonna tell you why. This man right here, through all the technical difficulties or whatever, came over to me, we brainstormed, and we got this man's music for him to perform. Now, if that's not hunger to yeah. perform, yeah. where you ain't got a crowd full of people, but still want to do what the fuck you love to do, yeah, let me tell you something, man. I fucking salute you for that, man, and I'm glad that we got that yeah. fucking music. Yeah. And besides that, besides that, not only was he last, Still but he was good. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the crazy shit about it. Yeah. He's up there 